Hi, Cells. Yes? Are you a eukaryotic cell looking for an easy way to get rid of toxic hydrogen peroxide? Yes! Then we have just the organelle for you. You'll absolutely love the peroxisome. What's a peroxisome? Well, check it out. It has a single phospholipid bilayer, otherwise known as a single membrane. This membrane allows the import of peroxisomal proteins, or peroxins, from the cytosol. The what? The fluid within the cell. Rad. So what's that in the middle of the peroxisome? Enzymes, especially catalase. What do the enzymes do? Well, cells, the enzymes in the peroxisome help speed up certain reactions. One of these is the catabolism of organic substrates represented by R to form hydrogen peroxide. Another enzyme in the peroxisome, the enzyme catalase, uses hydrogen peroxide, which is toxic, to form water. And if a cell has too much hydrogen peroxide, catalase will break down the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. Hey, what's a catalase? It's an enzyme. It's made of the four polypeptide chains, which are each over 500 amino acids long. <laughs> long. Amino acids long. Long. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nifty, <laughs> right? So why do I need peroxisomes? Isn't hydrogen peroxide a lot like water? There's only one more oxygen, right? You're kidding me, right? Hydrogen peroxide is highly reactive. If you don't have peroxisomes, your cell will be seriously damaged. Oh my. I guess I need peroxisomes. You definitely need them. They are very small, about 0.15 to 0.25 micrometers. Buy them in bulk today. If you're a plant cell or an animal cell, buying peroxisomes will keep you healthy. Mommy, where do peroxisomes come from? Uh. They are made from the materials in the endoplasmic reticulum. Maybe you should ask your science teacher what those are. <laughs>